Okay, let's find out some data engineer job offers to figure out what I need to learn. Hmm, okay, it's more a backend role. I got it. Let's check out another offer. Dashboarding and data modding? Well, yeah, why not? Let's check another one. Wait a minute. Machine learning pipelines? How does that fit with the rest? Guys, I need help. You are all working as data engineer, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're all doing essentially the same job with the same tools. It depends. It depends. First of all, we do not wear the same cap. I do Scala. Scala what? Oh uh, yeah, this Java thingy. I do Python. Well, at least we are all using SQL. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Sure. Sure. Stop using the term data engineer. There is something better. What's up, data folks? Data engineer is a job that has been exploding in terms of scope and the consequence is that we've been using the data engineering job role for about everything. So let's talk about the different type of data engineer. Plus you get to see my cap collection, at least 10% of it. No, I don't have cap issue. <laughs> Data engineer, aka the database administrator or DBA for the OG. This role has been fitting out this past year as most of the analytical use cases are being done on OLAP system, cloud data warehouse, and they are mostly fully managed. <coughs> or at least they claim to be. Some companies, however, are still relying on OLTP databases like MySQL or Postgre to do their analytics, and they have some reason for this. First, they don't have any pops up system like a Kafka cluster to fetch the data in real time, and they do have a low latency requirement. Another reason is that they are still haven't invested into a proper data platform, and they do just the analytical use case on their existing infrastructure setup. And they might need a DBA to maintain their production database to do performance tuning, monitoring, migration, upgrades. But again, most of those things are being done by the cloud provider nowadays. Data engineer, AKA the data analyst. Data analysts work closer to the business as they provide direct value to them. They don't necessarily focus on their SQL query performance, however they should, and they work with dashboarding tools providing KPIs and insight directly consumable to the business. The trap here is that data analysts can also do data pipeline, but that doesn't make them data engineer. No, it doesn't. Software engineering is not where a data analyst shines. So if you miss those things in a job offer, like programming knowledge principle, testing, version control, object programming, or infrastructure topics like Terraform, container, then you're probably looking at the data analyst role. Data engineer, AKA the analytics engineer. Analytics engineer is a pretty new named role. With cloud data warehouse emerging like BigQuery, Snowflake, Firebolt, a new era of data engineers were born are super powered data analysts. They apply software engineering best practice like testing, CICD, versioning, but focus on SQL pipeline and optimization while using a cloud data warehouse technology. They are usually responsible for data assets, clean, transform data, consumable by business. And DBT is often part of their tool belt. And about that, DBT Labs, the company behind DBT, has done a good comparison between data analyst, analytics engineer, and data engineer. I'll put the links in the description. Data engineer, AKA the machine learning engineer. Data maturity is growing in general and machine learning is getting democratized. Therefore, we need people dedicated to that specific challenge. This role focus on the machine learning life cycle deploying models developed by data scientists and put it in a production ready system. They usually have a strong software engineering background. Some specific tools that they are using are AWS SageMaker by AWS, Vertex AI by GCP Cloud, some machine learning library, TensorFlow, Keras, SparkML, PyTorch. Yes, that's a lot of fun. And obviously orchestration tools like MLflow, Kubeflow, Airflow, basically anything that end up with flow. Data engineer, AKA the data platform engineer. With the data mesh concept getting traction, we tend to have more of a self-service approach where you have a centralized team that provides a data platform and tooling for other data citizens to be autonomous for their data pipeline or data science work. Here are some of the work of a data platform engineer. Managing data infrastructure, Kafka cluster, a cloud data warehouse, data catalog, an orchestration tool, 
you know, that flow thingy, providing ETL tool like DBT or framework to help people to do their own data pipeline and also creating some microservice API that provide data. So who are the real data engineer? Well, the big challenge today is a data engineer role in a company often imply one or two of those role definition and sometimes even more. So if you can identify yourself, let's say 80% on one of these roles, just use this one as a main. And maybe when you need to explain further, just use a percentage to say, hey, I'm also spending 20% of analytic engineer job. And when you apply for a data engineering job, be sure to ask the expected amounts of time you will work on these topics. It will make the thing clearer for you. One data engineer can hide another one and your role definition might be completely different from company to company. So watch out. Yeah, better watch out. Thanks again for watching. Smash the like button if you enjoy it and don't hesitate to subscribe. You know, feed that algorithm with some proper data, right?